Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 28th of June 1969, the Stonewall riots began when New York City police raided the Stonewall Inn in Greenwich Village. In New York in 1969, it was illegal to engage in homosexual behaviour in public, including kissing, dancing or holding hands with someone of the same sex. Members of the LGBT community consequently socialised in gay bars that were frequently raided by the police. The Stonewall Inn in Greenwich Village had been turned into a gay bar by the Mafia with the hope that they could profit from offering protection to the patrons, while paying off the police to ensure that they could continue operating even without a liquor licence. By 1969, the bar had become incredibly popular, especially as it was the only establishment in the city that allowed gay men to dance together. However, it also attracted a lot of attention from the police's public morals squad, who frequently raided the city's gay bars and arrested patrons and employees alike. In the early hours of the 28th of June, police officers raided the Stonewall Inn. While they attempted to arrest employees and patrons suspected of cross-dressing, around another 200 customers were released from the bar only to congregate outside on Christopher Street. Scuffles between the patrons and the police soon turned into a full-scale riot as the community's long-standing anger exploded. Unaccustomed to such a violent response, the police retreated back inside the bar. The building was smashed up and set alight, and despite the arrival of riot police, it wasn't until 4am that the situation began to calm down. Nevertheless, rioting continued for another five nights and acted as a catalyst for LGBT political activism. Just a year later, the first gay pride marches took place in the United States, marking the first anniversary of the Stonewall Riots.